Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, okay, so now we have learned about the custom intervals and and the plugin and about the WPCLI, right? So let's see how now we can schedule the events in the WordPress, okay, using the Cron API. So we, we have to adding the hook, but we will go through uh, times, um, like step by step. So due to schedule the task, we have to call this function WP schedule event, okay? And that there is another uh, function called WP next schedule. So before we schedule the event, we have to make sure whether that uh, same event has been scheduled or not. If it's not scheduled, then we will only schedule it event. Okay. F else else if we won't schedule the event because we don't want to schedule the same event multiple times. And we will do perform this on an init action and init action uh, hook will be executed on every page load, right? So we don't want to uh, schedule the same uh, repetitive uh, events or the, like uh, same events multiple times, right? So what we can do? So like uh, uh, in, the, in our example, what I have did is um, I have, let me just uncomment this code now okay so i have registered one callback function called mlb schedule events on the init action okay and uh, these are the arguments i want to pass to uh to the e to the event to the word uh, scheduled event and these arguments are like uh, i have used static for now but depends on the use case for which we are scheduling the event and if you want to pass any arguments to the function callback function when that uh, event has been executed we want to pass some of the arguments that that we can provide it here else we don't have to pass arguments it's like a optional okay but for now just just for a demo purpose i have passed this static arguments okay so here i i am uh, scheduling two kind of events like one is the recurring event which will execute every 10 minutes so the 10 minute uh, intervals i have added so i'm using the, the 10 minute interval okay and another event is a single event which will be scheduled only like it will be scheduled only for once and like it will execute only once right so there could be chances that you want to perform the event okay on some uh, on specific time but only once so in that case we can schedule the single event not the recurring event okay so um, and here i am checking whether that event has been um, scheduled or not and this is the mlb recurring event is the hook so hook means the, this is the action which will use uh, to register a callback function for that event okay so uh, the wp next schedule will check whether uh, and and this function um retrieve the next timestamp for an event so if already event has been scheduled okay then it will return the timestamp that means this e particular event have been already registered but it accept two things hook and the arguments okay so uh, there could be chances that uh, that we are registering uh, we are scheduling the event but it depends on the arguments and if the arguments are different for different uh, for the same event but for the with the different arguments so in that case uh, your event will be differentiated based on the arguments because the, the event have been, have been scheduled on the same hook but with the different arguments okay so that means those are the different uh it considered as a different events okay so if that's why i have passed the arguments here so i am passing these arguments by like static arguments for now so it will check whether this event has been executed with this argument if yes then it won't schedule the event but if it's not scheduled the uh, this uh, recurring event uh, with uh, this given arguments then it will schedule this event okay so this function uh, generally used to get whether this um, any um, given action uh, given uh, event has been scheduled or not okay so and then it will simply get the scheduled event using this function wp get scheduled event and then it will simply return the timestamp but like we we just want to see whether it's return integer or false it will return integer means the timestamp false if the event does not exist okay and then we we are calling the wp schedule event function which will accept uh, uh, some arguments like first argument timestamp for when to next run the event okay so here we have passed the uh, we have you uh, pass a timestamp of the current time uh, using the time function we can get a current timestamp when the code has been executed and we are passing so from that time your event has been scheduled and it will run 
after the 10 minutes okay based on our custom interval so for example if you want to uh, schedule your event at specific time for example let's say um, you want to run some event on a daily basis right but in the night or in the morning or in the afternoon kind of uh, like uh, events or the intervals so let's say for example i want to run a particular event um a uh, recurring event on a daily basis but in the evening like for example at 7 pm right in your time or like uh, in in the ist times or not any other times it depends from where you are so so like uh, so i what i will do i will get that timestamp of the 7 pm okay um and then i will pass that timestamp here so this event will be scheduled uh, or the, at this uh, uh, um, at the 7 pm time okay and then it will run daily basis so based on that uh like on the daily basis it will run daily at 7 pm okay so this way you can manage from where you like from which time you want to run uh, or execute your event or you want to schedule the event okay but for now i am i have uh, i have used time event so like when this code execute from that time uh in the next 10 minutes this uh, event will be executed okay uh, so that you can uh, manage so yep so and another argument is recurrence so we have to pass how so how subsequently this event have been uh, need to execute the recurring event so um we have already registered our custom interval so that uh, that interval name uh, or the slug we have to pass here is a second argument then a hook action hook to execute when the event is run okay so when this event is run the wordpress call executor do action or execute the action okay so that action name i have passed it here we i have called like a uh, given name is the mlb recurring event okay so and later that later on i will hook a register callback function to this action this is the, not a filter but this is the action hook okay so that action hook name i have provided and then the arguments what are the arguments we want to pass which is optional default is the array and it says array containing arguments to pass to the hooks callback function each value into the array is passed to the callback as an individual parameter okay and the array keys are ignored default is empty array so this value one value two will be passed as a two different arguments to our callback function okay which is hooked uh, registered on this uh, mlb recurring event action okay so uh, that arguments we can we can pass any kind of arguments and then wp error whether we want to return wp error on a failure like default is false if we want to uh, get a wp error object then we can pass it through okay and then this function will uh, do uh, perform whether this uh, like whatever the interval we have passed whether it's scheduled or uh, that uh, event schedule have been exist or not and then it will prepare uh, this event uh, hook timestamp schedule args interval and everything it will also uh, execute pre-schedule event so this uh, filter using this filter you can perform anything like if you want to uh, perform uh, or schedule the events at your own okay so using th this filter we can do that okay and it will uh, then uh, if this pre uh, value variable value is not null, then it will simply return it from here. So it won't do per, uh, it won't execute for that. Means we have managed or we have scheduled this event uh, our own, right? Like if you want to implement some different con kind of uh, implementation approach, then this kind of filters can be will be useful. Okay, okay. So if uh, we are not uh, this filter is not uh, have been executed or haven't we have uh like hijacking the schedule of scheduling the event and wordpress code default will be executed and here there is a filter called schedule event so that uh filter you can use to modify um the event information right so this information can be passed hook timestamp schedule arguments and interval this information you can modify through that filter okay and then uh be, uh, they are creating the serialize uh, the arguments and then it's create md5 like the hash version and this will be act as a key because the uh, that given hook uh the on the same hook can be like uh, using the same hook we can schedule the multiple events with the different arguments and to differentiate that uh, it creates a hash value of that uh, given arguments okay 
and then it will simply check we uh, 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 creating or cry, uh, sorry calling this private function call underscore get underscore cron add him. so this is a private function that means we cannot use outside the wordpress code okay so uh, this will return the cron list of the cron and then it will simply uh, update the cron array with the this uh, new event okay and then set the cron array so this cron array you can see it's uh, like so all the list of the uh, registered cron events will be stored into the options table with this cron option name okay and uh, there is a version and the statically version has been set so yeah, i think there is a second version okay so if i go back here uh, okay so using this function like from the options table uh, from the cron option we are getting this uh, this function return the list of the crons then it will update it here okay and then set again so in the set cron array there is a version called two because like this version is being used i believe for uh, for if there is any changes or the breaking changes there into the wordpress cron api then this version will be gonna up get will be get updated okay so current version is the two and then it will simply update the given uh, updated cron into the options table okay and simply return the reason okay so this way our cron have been registered into the options table or like registered and saved into the options table okay yeah so now at this point our uh, event has been scheduled so it will uh, that event will be run after 10 minutes or every 10 minutes from the that given time current timestamp okay and similarly we can uh, also uh, check whether the single event have been so we can uh, register single event using this wp schedule single event okay so if you go through the here you have noticed that we have passed the scheduled value okay so what is the uh, scheduling of that event okay so and if you go to the single event so here uh, this function won't uh, uh, get uh, accept argument about the recurrence or the intervals right because it's a single time so if you go through it, it will be similar as the WP schedule event, but only thing is that in the schedule argument, it will be set or false because it's not going to reschedule uh, again, right? After executing the, because it's not a recurring event, it's a single event. And here you can see the pre-flight of hijacking can seek, uh, scheduling event to similar uh, field, uh, filter which execute on the WP schedule event. So same filter have been applied here and you can hijacking or you want to manage the scheduling of the registering of the cron events uh, like separately or in the custom way else it will simply check whether it's a duplicate event or not if the similar event has been executed then registered then i think it won't be registered then again it's creating the key based on the arguments checking the timestamp and few other things and then simply uh, set the cron okay so you can also use the schedule event uh, to filter the event information and then uh, using the get and set cron array function it will uh, update uh, cron events into the options table okay so if you go uh, here like uh, let me just here let me i have just keep that function ready so on a on a init hook i'm getting the list of the cron information using the get option okay so if i go here and simply refresh the page you can see list of variables so first is the timestamp okay on which timestamp this uh, this event will be executed okay uh, then our uh, event hook name okay so this hook will be executed when uh, this event will be executed okay so this uh, event uh, do action this is the action hook which we will use uh, to perform uh, anything like perform our background task and this is the key based on the arguments we have passed okay then this is schedule um, whether it's false or is there any so this is our single event so there is no schedule and these are the arguments which will be passed as a separate arguments to that callback callback function and if you see here um, in the recurring event you can see the schedule is at 10 minute so when this uh, event has been executed wordpress will reschedule it uh, reschedule again with the current timestamp uh, using this interval okay so wordpress itself keep rescheduling the events based on the schedule or intervals we uh, we have passed okay and then the interval in the uh, in the uh, seconds value like 600 seconds and then arguments what are the arguments you want to pass it and few other other default uh, or or other cron events which scheduled by the wordpress core or the, any other third party plugins so you can go through, uh, you can all, uh, on the same options you will see all other things right or uh, all the list of the events yeah, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.
जय वर्ड प्रेस